Hello everyone, thanks for coming and checking out my YouTube channel. I'm Dazzling Dave, and today I'm going to be talking about the Stellar Lunar Landing Module from Vacation Bible School. This isn't really a step-by-step, how-to-assemble-it type of video. It's more of a tips and tricks, what I learned along the way that might help you. Thanks for watching. First tip, find a big open area where you can lay out all these panels. It's important to have a lot of space. And when you put them down, make sure that the holes line up. The round little holes on all three of those panels will line up exactly. And that's how you know you have them set the right way. Next, grab the bag of nuts and bolts. And those nuts and bolts are not real nuts and bolts. They're kind of a, this plastic looking piece. Uh, you break the two apart and then you can either screw it or just press it to get them to go together. I ended up pressing them all the way through into the last bit and then screwing it together to get them tight at the very end. Uh, as you're putting on the panels, make sure you crease each one where there's the design crease to make it look more like the uh, cone shape. The very end, you put them all together. By the way, if you have somebody else uh, helping you, it's great to have that extra set of hands to hold things in place as you're putting it all together. All right, once the main body's put together, I started working on the cockpit window, and there's no real major tips here. Just make sure you fold on the crease lines, use the nuts and bolts, and as you can see, as you go around, it starts to fold up and form into the cone shape that'll be put on top of the uh, lunar landing body. Now attaching the cockpit window to the main body of the unit by going around and putting a, the nut and bolt into each opening hole. I did two on the very front there, should have waited because that's where the sign goes later. Anyways, this part here is the cone. The cone was harder than I thought because I got it all formed, creased, ready to go, and I started right there at the front. Shouldn't have done that. Should have read the directions better and should have started at the back where my wife is because once we got around there, all of a sudden I couldn't reach back there. Well, luckily she's a lot smaller than I am and she could reach through. If I was doing this again on my own, I would have started at the back, working from the top side, and then slowly working over to the front, and then reaching through for those last front ones. Now you can see I uh, realized here that, oh, the sign goes right there where those holes are. Probably shouldn't have put those bolts in. Took them out quick, bent the sign folder up, and put the sign in place. To complete the lunar landing module, there's not a lot more tips I'm going to give you. It's all pretty much follow the directions. Build these little side wings by using the nut and bolt and bending them on the creases and then sliding them into the tanks and pushing down to get it to lock into place. Do it on both sides. Snap on the glass window plastic. They actually have a little tang that will hold it in place. Uh, and then when you put the front door on, it makes it sit in place perfectly. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you have a great time at your vacation Bible school this year.